Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about variables in dart programming now guys there are certain rules while you define your variables in dart programming language so as you can see no special characters except this dollar and underscore so let us see few examples so in the previous video we have seen some variable names as well so let me define another variable as number so this is nothing but this is a variable and then we assign it a value that is 10 and let's say we print this number so we use the print function followed by semicolon and then we run this file so as you can see 10 is printed now let's say if I want to define more numbers over here so let's say if I want to define this as number 1 so is this special character allowed so as I told you dollar and underscores are allowed in your variable names so this will be allowed so let's say if we try printing this variable name we save this file and then let me clear this and then run this file again so as you can see the value is 10 let's say if I want to provide another value and I want to provide it in another variable that is number underscore 2 and we have this value as 20 and then let's say if I want to add both these numbers so what I will do is I will use the plus sign over here and then I will define this number 2 so I'm going to talk more about these plus sign and then other operators as well in the upcoming videos guys but over here what we are doing is we are just adding these two numbers now let me run this code again so as you can see 10 plus 20 it is equal to 30 so in this way you can use these underscores in your variable names apart from this you can also use dollar signs as well so let's say if you don't want to use underscore and if you want to use dollar signs as well over here so you can put the dollar signs now using these variables we copy this and now what I will do is instead of plus we are doing it minus so 10 minus 20 and then we save this file so this is dollar number one minus dollar number two we run this file so it should be 10 minus 20 which is equal to minus 10 so in this way either you can use dollar or underscores in your variable names guys apart from this if you want to use any other special characters let's say uh, we start with at the rate so this will not be allowed let's say if I use the same variable name and paste it over here save this file and try running this so as you can see we are getting this error it says expected an identifier but got at the rate so basically in this variable name the other special characters apart from dollar and underscore signs are not allowed so guys you have to be very careful while you define your variable names over here make sure that you provide some sensible names so that not only you but tomorrow if let's say someone else comes in your place in order to work with your code so that person should be able to understand your code so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you can get the notification of upcoming videos in the next video we are going to talk about difference between final and constant keywords in dart so stay tuned